Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Good in Life. Good morning. I'm Deanna. And I'm Kevin behind the camera. You'll be seeing me a little bit later on. Uh, we just wanted to show you we took advantage of a government program and uh, got Deanna an e-bike yesterday. So we're just on our first trial ride. We're down at Canoe Beach and it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's a little bit windy and so far the bike's been awesome. I left Kevin in the dust, but um, I'm sure we'll figure, we'll figure out speeds and stuff like that as we go. The bike is called an iGo Electric Discovery Rosemont. It cost $3,000 Canadian. It has a 500 watt motor and at the store they said the range is 50 to 100 kilometers. I think the website might say 100 kilometers, but I was appreciating that the local store was giving us a realistic version of things. So this particular bike has what's called hybrid. So most of the time you need to be pedaling and then the motor will help you to pedal. But it also has a mode where you can just push on the throttle lever. I'll show it. Right there. And then you don't have to be pedaling. It'll just to go on its own. So that's very helpful for Deanna. So we wanted to have that feature. <laughs> okay, so here I am uh, from out behind the camera. I did remove my biking helmet with the GoPro, uh, so got some beautiful hat hair going on, but uh, it's all good. We're out having fun. <laughs> so uh, with me uh, being retired, we weren't really planning on getting one of these e-bikes quite yet, because of course they're quite expensive and uh, we do feel fortunate we got one, but one of the reasons we got one was because of a special program. The government of uh, British Columbia, province in Canada where we live, they've created a program uh, e-bike rebates. So people are able to apply based on income level. There's different uh, levels of a rebate you can get. So it seemed like a pretty good opportunity to get some money back on the purchase. So I got all the required documentation together and the website was set to go live at 8 a.m. in the morning. So I had everything geared up. And of course, when I tried to log in, boom, the website's crashing because they had limited, uh, I think nine, was it 9,000? Yeah, 9,000 uh, seats, if you want to call it that, or uh, slots available for people to get rebates. So the website was crashing, it was hard to get in, and I just kept hitting refresh over and over and over and over again. And maybe I lucked out a bit, but I actually got in. So I had all the documentation ready, filled out the application really fast, uh, did the submit and got something back saying that I was approved to go into the next stage of the process. So I, I got assigned a number. It was number 1,542 at 12 minutes after eight in the morning. <laughs> so, that's uh, where we're at now. So we've purchased the bike. We did a test ride at the uh, local dealer uh, called Skookum yesterday and quite enjoyed it. Uh, I was a little bit nervous at first when Kevin said, let's get a bike. I was thinking it might have the power of a motorbike. I don't know why. I don't know anything about it. But I, uh, I made him ride it down the hill and then, then I, I was a bit apprehensive because I, I didn't know how the speed engaged, how the motor engaged. So, but it's so simple with the throttle and um, it just gives you that little extra push because I have arthritis, I have osteo and rheumatoid arthritis. So it makes me, it difficult for me to enjoy outdoor activities. So this gets us out and about and I'm just so excited and so thankful that uh, we could get this. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We both love bike riding and we have for many years, but like Deanna says, it's been a challenge for her lately. So this is uh, really good. Uh, it was amazing during the test ride because there's 
three uh, levels of power assist and she talked about it and before we did the test drive and so while I was doing loops around a uh, big parking lot by the Selmar Theater in Salmon Arm, I was uh, going up in the modes and I found the bike got going pretty darn fast. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is impressive. Yes, we, we, uh, she, she told us what the speed limit is and if we're going downhill that we have to slow down. So I don't think I'll get going that fast. <laughs> yeah, in Canada, apparently there's a law on these uh, electric bikes where the motor won't let, won't speed you past 35 kilometers an hour. Uh, if you're going that speed, the motor will cut out automatically and it's actually a legal thing. And when she told us about that, it made me think of uh, freeways in British Columbia where you uh, go onto the on-ramp. There's sometimes signs that says vehicles incapable of 40 kilometers an hour must not go on the freeway no matter what. So this 35 kilometer an hour limit seems to be somewhat based on the bicycles then not really being classified as a motor vehicle. I think bicycles in BC are still considered a vehicle by law and you have to follow all the, all the rules of the road, laws of the road, but I believe that makes it not a motor vehicle. And we should continue on with our ride. Yeah, so we'll share some more of the ride with you. Uh, so far, what would you say for people that are thinking about getting one of these kind of bikes, Deanna? I would say the, you know, the, the dealership or store that you go to is important. So the, we went to Skookum, is it Skookum Sports? Uh, something like that, yeah. In Salmon Arm, and they were so good. And they had already, even though they weren't giving a lot of time to to. Um, familiarize themselves with the program they knew quite a bit and we worked through it together and they were awesome they made me feel really comfortable and um, they worked well with Kevin too with the different receipts that you need so um, so far the process has been great and I'm pretty excited to be back on the road again they put the brake on again when you brake, there's a brake light on your rack that comes on. Doing a trial of Deanna's new e-bike.
yes. Very windy. Beautiful day though. I think there might be. Oh yeah, we can go down to the tables. The lake's water level is still rising with spring runoff, so the city's putting up barricades in areas of the beach that normally flood. On the left is uh, Top Jimmy's Canoe Beach Cafe. Great place to eat and sit and enjoy the beautiful view of Shushwap Lake at Canoe Beach. <laughs>